Hi, I'm Kevin. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a German equatorial mount. I'm using the Paramount Mighty. Uh, one of the things you want to do first is get your tripod level. You can see where I've put these uh, pavers on the ground uh, just to kind of act as more like a, an anchoring surface. Then once you have that, level your tripod and then I'll put the mount on. At this time the counterweight and the uh, optical assembly is not on the telescope yet. So after I put the mount on, come over here and I'll show you this bubble level. You want to try to get that as centered as you can. All right. Now once that's centered, then I'm going to go ahead and put the counterweight bar on, the counterweight and the optical tube assembly. Make sure that you put on the bottom of the counterweight bar that you put the stop on the bottom. And that keeps the counterweight from falling off. Alright, so nice thing about having a portable mount is you can take it and grab and go everywhere. But the bad thing is you really don't have a solid foundation. So I'd recommend setting this up at least a couple hours beforehand because level's going to change as the mount settles. But I want to have all the weight on the mount as much as I can um, while it's doing that settling during the day. Now after your mount settled, you come back to your bubble level, you'll notice that it's shifted. And one of the things, one of the tricks I just do is I'll step on the pavers and I just keep stepping on those and that will compress the grass underneath. And I can make little adjustments on the bubble level as I'm doing that. So it's not as super, super critical to get it level, but it makes things that we're going to do later on way easier if you do that. So now after I've got the tripod and mount leveled and everything settled out for the day, uh, the next thing I like to do, uh, we got to balance this thing, get it as balanced as we can. One common mistake you'll make is you'll forget to take off your lens cover and any other covers that you might have on your telescope. So you want to make sure those are off because now we're doing the level. The next thing you want to do is make sure you adjust your latitude approximately for where you're at for the day. And I forgot to mention our tripod should be pointing relatively north. So after you've had all that adjusted, you want to go ahead and double check your level again. See if things shifted around while you change the angle of the latitude. And it may a little bit. And again, just kind of give it a little tweak and it'll level out again. So now, with the mount unlocked and the gears disengaged, I'm going to make sure that your, your um, optical tube assembly is uh, secured before you do this. But you want to rotate up. So now I'm basically trying to balance the weight on each side here. Now, this is not 20 pounds of equipment. This is about uh, 11 pounds of equipment total. And this is a 20 pound counterweight. So why does it want to go this way other than just the, the weight? It's because the moment that this counterweight and how far it is on the shaft. If I had a really heavy optical tube assembly, I could actually get a counter shaft extension and move that moment. And so it could even exceed 20 pounds on the other side. But if I had an extension bar, I can change that, that moment to help keep it balanced. Um, but as a rule of thumb, it's good to try to keep weight as balanced as you can on each side of the optical tube assembly. The other thing is, you kind of look where the center of mass is of the optical tube over here. That's about where you want your center of mass to be on the opposite side of the counterweight. So now I'm just going to carefully adjust while I'm keeping hold of the counterweight shaft. I'm adjusting the counterweight's position and you can see how it's starting to come into balance. And you go too far. So then I'm going to back out a little bit, and things are pretty well adjusted right there. I'm going to go ahead and lock this counterweight in place. Now I'm going to do a quick test where I'm going to change the position of the optical tube assembly on the other side, and it should stay balanced. And if it's not, then that means you still need to do some tweaking this way. I like balancing in this way first because this weight isn't going to change relative to this weight on this side of the counterweight. All right, so now that I'm comfortable with that I'm balanced on each side, the next thing I want to do is try to adjust and balance the optical tube assembly itself. Okay, so now I want to adjust the optical tube assembly to make sure it's balanced. 
okay so you can see right now well hey that looks that looks pretty well balanced right there this is another common mistake you'll make you won't account for what the normal focus position is when your camera is attached so because I've used this assembly with a previous um, mount I know that being a proper focus my focuser has to be back down about right there and now you can see how it wants to fall out of balance again so what you want to do is kind of loosen up well first off I want to I want to lock the position of this shaft so now this is locked in place so now I don't have to as I'm going to try to move this optical tube assembly back and forth I won't worry about it getting too far out of balance so now I'm going to loosen up my retention screws on my optical tube plate and I, since it was leaning this way I know I need to adjust a little bit forward just a little bit forward now I'm going to carefully unlock again and I'm going to see if it wants to move on me alright it seems like it's just a little bit you know more biased towards this direction so again I'm just going to small move alright and that looks pretty well balanced out so now I'm going to tighten this up again get it snug snug enough that you're comfortable enough that it's not going to slide off for you and then you want to try this again alright and you see how just a little bit of force and it stays put alright so that lets me know it's pretty well balanced and then just to check again the optical tube I want to put it completely horizontal again and I want to make sure that the optical tube assembly is not going to rotate one way or the other again just a little bit of tweak and it should once the in initial inertia um, is done it should stay in place and not move on you at all so now once you're comfortable with how everything so now we've made sure that the caps are off that we're at the approximate focal length that we need to be it's a good idea to go ahead and secure any cables that you have so they're not going to move because something even like this can shift on you while you're imaging it can, can change the balance of the optical tube assembly and you can also kind of see where my focuser comes off to the side that's actually one of the reasons why I like to keep on my red dot finder even though there's not an eyepiece in this and it also kind of helps to align stuff during the night as well I can't I don't want to take the camera off uh, throughout the night but I know that my red dot finder is aligned with my optical axis and so that helps me through the night so I hope that helps you guys understand how to get a really good balance and what a properly balanced optical tube assembly on a German equatorial mount should look like and again any position that you put this in it should stay both axis of rotation I really hope that helps and thanks for watching